Hi everybody, my name is Jeff. It's been quite a while since I did an intro to any of the videos. I've just been lucky to try and get some of them posted. Been a little too busy in the shop and everything that way and with work. So now I've got a little bit of time to do one for this one. And it's going to be a case in the, well, another month or so. Be tapping trees and everything that way so we'll really get behind again then. But uh, what I've got going on today is I've got a friend up north that's got a big wrecker, well he's got quite a few wreckers and everything, and he's got some pins that go on the back on the wrecker for, like if you have to tow, tow a truck backwards, there's a lot of the times the little U-shaped ones that go around an axle aren't big enough for the rear axles, there's not an easy way to pick them. So what most of them have got are a pin that is a two and a half inch diameter pin that has a hole in it, about a two inch, well inch and seven eighths is what the ones he's got are. They go up around the stud and bolt for, well basically your U-bolts on the springs is what it amounts to. And you can pick them up that way and then chain them and take off down the road and throwing it backwards. He likes some a little bit bigger and he hasn't found any place he can order them so I told him I can make them some easy enough. And he needs it bigger actually for where it goes in the truck. The originals have a, I believe it was an inch and seven eighths diameter pin that goes into the truck and then the hole on the inside. The piece is a total of seven inches long so you've got three inches that goes into the truck and the other four inches that sticks up that goes, has a three inch deep hole in, that goes underneath the truck to the, over the nut and bolt for picking them up. Kind of make more sense when I show them as I'm making them. So basically what I've got is some two and five eighths. I want to make them an eighth inch bigger diameter. And I was going to go with some three inch I had, but if you get too big, well then you're going to get too close to the axle where it will cause problems with trying to get them in over the nuts again. So that's why I give him an eighth inch bigger ID for getting around some of the larger nuts. And Plus on his truck, the pin part needs to be, well I'm going to make it just a little over two inches. It will probably be oh, about two inches fifty thousandths. I could go probably a little bigger than that. The one set of blocks he's got is about two and an eighth and the others are around two and a sixteenth but I don't want them too snug so when you go to drop them in you gotta fight them or even taking them out for that matter. So we'll get set up here in the lathe and get going. And thanks for watching. Hopefully I can get some of this other stuff edited and posted. And I've still got back on that broken Massey Ferguson tractor and got the engines going together and everything that way and just haven't edited any of that video yet I'm kind of waiting I figure I can do a two or three part deal kind of do it all at once when the whole tractor's back together and running it's been an <laughs> interesting winter and spring's coming fast hopefully so thanks for watching okay you got a piece of two and five eight on 41 the arms 40. Of the tow truck put one of these pins in. I've got to turn it down to two inch diameter. Like I say, this is two and five eighths. And then bore a hole in the end, about two inches diameter and three inches deep. And what they do is put it up under the spring shackle basically of the truck where the stud sticks down and the nut goes inside the hole and then the other pin's setting in the arm of the record. You can pick them up that way and then chain it to it and throw it down the road. It's only got to be turned three inches back from the end down to the two inch AD or OD on this end. <clears throat> so once I get it down to, well actually we're going to go a little over that, probably two and a, well probably 2.062 I guess we're about where I'm going to be at. The end down here, if it shows up good. The, it's cut a little uneven. I used, I've got a Milwaukee 8 inch metal saw. And it's basically a metal skill saw or circular saw. And it's really designed, I think they only figure up to half or three quarter inch. And I've cut off <laughs> a lot bigger pieces than that. If you take your time, it's pretty easy. But as I was coming in from this side, it was 
starting to get too warm and it only cuts to a 916 thick anyway and so it'd be just shy of cutting this off so what I ended up doing was turning it and coming in from the other side to finish it off and a little easier on the blade we're just gonna face it off here and then get her cut down turned down to size speed on the lathe. Hopefully it'll get set up sometime this winter yet. stop at three inches. Well, as I've mentioned before in this lathe and when I was making the tool, that seal tool, it's the case that the belt slips when I'm taking too big a cut and I don't have the variable speeds. I've only got two speeds, well four speeds, the too high and too low. Odds are the belt will slip if I take too big a cut, so I'll probably start off with maybe oh, 150 off at 75 thousandths cut. See what it does. It may get too smoky, I'll get that fan blowing if it does. Zero here quick.
chips out of there before it. You could actually hear the motor speed back up a little, so at least my belt isn't slipping today. But 200 thousandths off. About all this little single phase can handle. We could probably do 250 off it. 4140 is a medium carbon steel. A little tougher anyway. There's a nice color to them. Not changing color until quite a ways off, so if I had the power, I could do better. That didn't hardly change. stringy ones like that is not nice. Or that big nest I had forming in there before. Don't want it catching on the truck and coming around and getting here. Cut here, 100 thousandths off, 50 thousandths deep cut. And it should be down to another 20 or 30 off it and be good.
this one turned down. Now I've got to bore it out. I guess if I would have had it down in the camera, you can see it. Set up the board out.
could have almost 80, I think it's 85 thousandths to go. Pretty warm yet, but it should be cooled down enough for shrinkage out of it. I was hoping had it figured for 240. We'll see what we it looks like about two. I'll get in the snap gauges, and I got 239 there. Try another section just for the hell of it. It's like 240. It's 2 inches 40 thousandths. 2.040. Oh, okay, you got them both done here. They came out pretty nice, chamfered a little more on this inner edge. Now this one I didn't do quite as much as the other one, I don't think. Should have, I might put it back in and do that one a little more like this. So when he is putting them up there against those nuts, if he's a little off, it'll feed it in a little better. And I think I will do that in that first one, is chamfer that one a little more. We'll go from there. Thanks for watching.